In this video, I will teach you how to create a printed calendar using Google Calendar. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. And here I am on Google.com. But to switch to Google Calendar, all I have to do is type in calendar.google.com, tap enter, and I'll be taken to Google Calendar. Alternatively, I could just click on this symbol here and choose Calendar. Now, once you get to Google Calendar, make sure that you are signed in to your Google account. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do before creating your printed calendar in Google Calendar is make sure that you have selected the right sub calendar, you've deselected those that you don't need, and you've put the events that you want to appear on the calendar into your calendar. So how can you do those things? I'm going to click here at the upper left corner where it says main menu and I get this panel that pops out and you can see that I have created multiple calendars and some of these calendars I didn't create but rather other people shared them with me and of course I could create additional calendars or I like to think of these as sub calendars just by clicking here on the plus sign create new calendar and I'm going to call this school events I could put in a description of what this calendar is about, but I'll click Create Calendar. And now when I go back, you can see that I now have a school events subcalendar. So let's say those are the only events I want printed, just the school events. I would deselect these other calendars, and maybe I do want to keep the holidays in the calendar as well. So I'll just leave those two calendars selected, nothing else. And now I just need to go ahead and put in some important school events. Let's say we have parent-teacher conferences coming up, maybe the first week in November. I could click and drag from November 6th to November 7th, and then release the mouse button, and then type in the name of the event. Maybe these are all day events, and I can just click save. Now people will know parent-teacher conferences are these two days. Let's say on November 17th, at 5 p.m. there's a parent-teacher association meeting, a PTA meeting. I can just type in PTA meeting and then I can add the time here choosing 5 p.m. and I could adjust the end time of that meeting. But there's a faster way to add times. I'm going to cancel out of this and discard the changes and then I'll click back on the 17th. I'll type PTA meeting, and then here I'll just type 5 p.m. Tap enter, and notice that the meeting is automatically scheduled for 5 p.m. So that saved me a couple of steps. If I click on the event, I could delete it if I've changed my mind, but I'm gonna click edit event. Maybe I want to adjust how long the meeting is scheduled for. Maybe it goes till seven. I could add a description, a location, even notifications and basically reminders. I could add specific guests for this meeting. So there's all sorts of great options I have, but I'll just click save and the event is recorded. Now let's say that every third Wednesday of the year, there are open office hours for the principal. I can go in, let's say to the third Wednesday in November and I'll click and type in open office hours with the principal. We'll say it's 4 p.m. I'll tap enter. So that's scheduled, but now I can click and edit the event, and I'm gonna make this a repeating event, monthly on the third Wednesday. I'll click save. So now that event will show up on every third Wednesday. Okay, so let's say I continue to do this, to add events that should go on this school events calendar. Now, when you do this, please be sure that when you're putting in an event, that you make sure that the correct calendar is selected. It's very common for people to add a calendar event, but add it to the wrong sub-calendar. So it should go to, in this case, school events. Click save, there it is. Okay, once you have set up your calendar or chosen which calendar you want to print, you've deselected everything else that you don't want printed, and you've made sure that all of the events have been added, to the correct calendar, it's time now to print your calendar. And you can do that here in the settings menu in the upper right. If you click on that gear symbol, you can choose print and you can select the date range for the calendar. So I'm gonna click there and choose October 1st through let's say June 30th. But I could choose any other date range that I want. 
I could adjust the view of the calendar. I'm going to leave it with auto, but I could change it to day view. Every single day will be printed with its own page. Or I could choose week view. And I could see week view as being very useful in some situations. Next, I can determine what the font size should be for my text. You can see Halloween here shows up very small on the calendar. So if I want to, I can make it big or bigger or even biggest. In this case, I think I'll stick with big. I do want to show weekends, but not events that have been declined. Okay, with that done, I can click print, and this calendar is prepared for printing. And you get a preview of what will be printed. Your printer should show up here, but if it doesn't, you can click to select the correct printer. Also, notice that, at least for me, it's defaulted to black and white. And in many cases, that is the option you want black and white, but if not, you can switch to color. You can also decide which pages to be printed. All of them is the typical answer there. Now, while we're in this screen, I want you to see that there's a fantastic option in addition to printing to an actual printer. There is the option to save as PDF. If you choose that, you can click save and it will let you name the calendar, maybe something like that, click save. And now on my computer, I have a PDF document that I could email to someone or upload to Google Drive or do any number of other things with. So that ability to print to a PDF file, it's not really printing, it's just putting it on your computer, that is a great option to have. Jumping back to the calendar, I want you to know that this is just a taste of what Google Calendar can do for you. I have other videos on Google Calendar, but if you'd like an updated tutorial on how to use Google Calendar, please like this video and leave a comment below the video. Let me know that you'd like additional Google Calendar videos. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my super techie channel supporters. Thanks so much for what you do to support the channel.